Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol RAD, Rite Aid. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days' worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think there's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Now, I realize this one was all over the place in the headlines today. So, you know, that's the reason for the huge volume here. But, you know, the chart is still pretty tricky to talk about because there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought this morning up there and you wanted to sell within 15 minutes after buying, then, yeah, for you, the chart's looking a little rough because the price did pull back. Now, on that note, yeah, I realize the price pulled back. But from the big picture perspective, the bulls do still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And as long as you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. And that's already what Rite Aid has been doing. So, I mean, you know, what, what, whatever you believe about, you know, the, the news and such, I just use the charts. And after all the hoopla today, all I know is that after the dust has settled, after that pullback that occurred, the bulls are still in that same old uptrend that they've been in. And, you know, you can use this orange line here, a tread line to, you know, to monitor that tread line or to monitor the trend, excuse me, which has started since back here on February 9th. Or another way, if you kind of don't want to draw tread lines, and that's why I call these tread lines for lazy people, but you can use the moving average right there because that's the 50 period simple moving average keyword being moving. That line is going to move itself higher and higher. So that tread line, quote unquote, will draw itself higher and higher. And you can see they're basically valued at the same thing. But point being, as long as the price stays above these, whether you use the tread line or that moving average, that implies that the price is putting in higher lows over time. So if the market truly is gonna value this news bullish or what have you, then you know the price should have no problem staying up above that trend line and continuing to work itself forward. So that's really the easiest way to kind of look at the chart and measure the news in terms of what does the mar market think about it? Well, maybe you could argue that the market has already known about it given that the price had already been sloping upwards and trending upwards before all the headlines hit today. That's pure speculation on my part. My point is that just follow the trend lines and as long as the price is building higher lows, then hey, the market must be pretty bullish on whatever dynamics are surrounding the company. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.